Hello from the sisters and Hartwell's family. So as I mentioned, I received a message from two members who had a profound dreams. One was about World War III, and the other was confirmation about the coming recession. Each dream was given to me the day I received the message. This is from the first soul. I had a dream I'd like to share with you about the war. I dreamt this morning. I just woke up from the dream, and in this dream, my mom, she said that the war is going to happen in two days. Then I said to her, we all need to start praying more. Seems to me it was like 24 hours a day that Jesus wanted us to pray so he can extend mercy to the whole world, to give us more time because he didn't want the war to start yet. And then my mother told me that it was going to happen inevitably. And then I told her, but mom, Jesus extends mercy. He can change the time on when the war will happen. If we just pray, pray for more time, more grace, more mercy. Then somewhere out of the blue, somebody talked about the war happening in two weeks. Then I said, well, I guess we better start praying. But I felt a deep sorrow for all my family members who are not ready and friends, and sorrow for those that weren't praying enough. I don't know what this means. I know a lot of us here on the mountain are praying as much as possible. I believe the Holy Spirit is telling me that all around the world, a lot of people that are His are not praying enough. They're living their lives in the world. And when I got up, I talked to my husband about it, and I sent out one of the dreams from the Lord. It was 8.33 in the morning, the blood of Jesus on this message. Wow, family, and so I believe what she's saying is correct. We all need to pray more unceasingly. I know many of us are so weary in praying, worrying and praying because we haven't seen what the Lord has promised or things haven't happened, and so we want to give up on praying. But guys, it's our prayers that are so effective. And I'll, I'll share with you at the end of this message a rhema that I got twice this week from Blessed Mother, kind of confirming that, not just for me, but for all of you. So your prayers are so effective and powerful. Please continue to pray for more time, more grace, more mercy. This is a second dream from another soul. And she had two dreams. I had a dream someone told me that everyone should write down their passwords and have a hard copy because for whatever reason, when a blackout occurs, the passwords will not automatically save as they usually do. It was a weird thing to dream about, but I got obedience to Bible promises. The second dream she had. I want to share a dream I had about increase in food prices. In the dream, I was at a college campus in Europe. I was in the cafeteria and it was lunchtime. Although there were quite a few people in the cafeteria, almost no one was in line for the food the cafeteria was serving. Then I saw one girl getting her food and checking out. She got a regular cafeteria meal on a tray, and checking out, she also grabbed a small bag of crackers. The checkout lady told her that the total came to $70, or euros. I know they use different money in Europe. The girl was shocked and hesitant, not knowing what to do. She inquired about the price, and the checkout lady told her the meal was 60 something dollars, but the crackers came to 70 something dollars. Then she said, I can't afford that. So they took her tray of food and put it at the beginning of the line at a discounted price. In real life, God made me make a vegetable garden this year. It was my first time gardening. I just harvested my green bell peppers, and in the dream, I had three bags of full of my peppers, and I was going around the college offering it to them to people. Everyone accepted them. No one refused. That's all. I think it would be good to make home gardens as the Lord directs. Wow, family. So it seems like the Lord is telling us three things here. To pray for more time, more grace, more mercy against the war uh, starting, to forestall the war, and also to pray for those that will be lost when war starts. The second thing is that as the recession hits, the Lord has made it clear that we need to give. Give to those around you. Give to those in need. Please don't be selfish. Don't hoard like many all over the world have begun to do and will do when it hits. Do not be like the world. Stockpile for others, for the sake of others. And all that you have, help everyone around you. Give. Give to those around you. And I love in the dream, she says she gave her peppers and no one refused. If you're hungry, who do want to eat a green bell pepper? But when you're to that state and you have no money for food, you're going to eat whatever is given to you. The last thing is that she mentioned that we should start home gardens at home, and I think that's very wise. On the, when I was on the mountain, we began our own garden and harvested beautifully. So I would encourage anyone who has a field, has, um, or is able to get even a pot of soil at home in any manner, please start gardens so that you will have some type of food source, 
uh, vegetables, fruit um, available for you when times get really rough because our food comes from the earth, from the land. We can till the land in order to receive our food. We've been so accustomed to going to the grocery store eating processed food. So if you have that availability, please do it. Do it not only just for your sake, but the sake of others. You can use that to help neighbors, help those who are hungry, help those who are in need, help the children who may be starving when that time comes. You'd be such a blessing. So please, please do those things. And this is the rhema that Blessed Mother gave me. And it says here, I got this twice in a week. Your prayers have availed much. Never doubt the effectiveness of your prayers. God's grace spills out upon the earth even now to bring the conversion, those souls who hang perilously at the brink of perdition. Impress upon all you meet the shortness of time. But some other. So family, let's take heed to all these warnings the Lord is revealing to us and to one another's dreams. Seek the Lord that he may guide you in how to prepare. And remember, do not think of yourselves, but stock up for the sake of others and give freely. Also, do not be afraid to share any dreams or visions God gives you to others. We have need for this gift in the body of Christ. When the Lord reveals to you something, it's for you to pray, discern if it's the Lord, and if it's His will, to share it and how to share with others, but never to sit on a dream or a vision, because what the Lord shows you may be a puzzle piece to a greater picture that the body of Christ needs. God bless you, family, to the next message. Let's continue to pray and prepare.